what is up guys in this tutorial we're going to be doing some advanced terrain destruction so to start with we need a few separate objects so let's call this one sprite x32 and this is going to be a 32 by 32 block but to show you how it works I'm going to create a block with an outline black and white there we go next we need sprite x 16 by 16 which is a 16 block Let's create that stretch to a 16 and we're going to keep doing this until we get all the way down to 1 so if you want to skip to the to, the, uh, to where I've done this I'll probably create uh, an annotation for you to do that sprite x8 Oh, what's it easy? Stretch to eight. And then Sprite X four. Stretch again to four, four pixels. And what these are for is so that when say the sprite x, sprite x32 is going to be an object and so is all the others but when sprite x32 gets destroyed it will create four sprite x16s and when the sprite x16s get def get destroyed four of the sprite x8s get created so it'll eventually go down until we go all the way to sprite x1 and then it'll be destroyed but I'll show you how it works in a second once I do the final two objects, stretch to two. No, I can't really put a box in here, so I'll just do that. And then sprite X1. And I know I've told you over the uh, tutorials that you should always center your objects, but for these, I find it easier not to. So if you want to, you can probably do it, but I just find it easier. So, one for pixel. I'm going to have to zoom in because I can't really see that pixel. There we go. Right, now that's done. Click OK on, on all these sprites. I'm going to create an object and call it Object X32. <laughs> and assign the sprite. And what you want to do, what's duplicate? Duplicate is Alt Insert. Okay, so insert. Insert, 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 insert. There we go. So, now for this one, call it Object X16. And assign the sprite of 16. And obviously, for the same, it'll be Object X8, Object 8, Object X4, X4. You want to do this for all of them until so you get right down to X1. Final one, object X1. Here we go. So now, what you want to do is create an object and just call it object mouse. And let's just use the sprite x32 for it. What's this going to do? It's basically going to follow the mouse. It's going to be like our destroyer object. So put in the execution going in the step event x equals mouse underscore x and y equals mouse underscore y. This is basically so it follows the mouse. I think I've already gone over that before, but you know. Um, so add event. When there is a collision with object mouse, or in fact, I probably need to make it a circle just to show you what I'm on about. So, don't edit, no, nope. uh, new. Let's call it sprite circle. And in fact, sprite mouse. It's going to be a 32 by 32 circle. 
again with a black outline and white in the middle. There we go. You can this object can be anything, but I think it, I find it easier when it's a circle. This wants to be centered because it's going to be on the object on the uh, mouse. So now, if this collides with the mouse, you want to instance create. This is where it starts getting, you know, a little bit tricky. Um, object X16. So it'll create one at the top left because we didn't center the object. And then what you want to do is copy and paste that and do X plus 16. And I'll create one at the top right. And if you copy it again and Y plus 16, it'll create one at the uh, bottom left. And bottom right is just plus 16 on both. So that will create four equal uh, object x16s at either corner. And then what you want to put is instance destroy. And now we can just copy that. And then all of them, object 16 all the way down to object 1, should all have this. But obviously you want to change the coordinates. So go into your search thing, type 16, and then just replace it with 8. There we go. And that will be the same with this. So collision with object mouse. Change 16 to 4. then change the 16 to 2 and the final one which is going to be the 16 to 1 no just one and then finally for the one because we can't change it to anything else like 0.5 or anything because we can't have 0.5 pixels we just put in the execution event instance destroy and if I haven't forgotten anything like I do all, all so often um, it probably should work so let's just create a room with object mouse in the middle and just create these all around just a nice little square this is just a demonstration you can probably set out a level with this maybe for a shooting game or something where the bullets collide with it um yeah so let's go There we go. And as you can see, because of the outline, you can see that it's been destroyed. So if you just want to go through, go through all the way like that, you can see it's destroyed. And the little squares represent, obviously, the objects that were created. Um, so this has been another fairly easy tutorial. Obviously, you can see that it's lagging a bit, but that's just my computer's not half decent. Because I've got all these uh, games on it, like Football Manager and stuff. But... Um, yeah, this has been another good tutorial. My name's Ashley Phoenix. Remember to like and comment, and if you want to subscribe, because I'll be doing these tutorials fairly regularly now. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.